and beats is all knockers. Taylor for the This is the NBA Finals Game 2. The Boston Celtics, fighting for their first win of the series, will try to even the score at 1-1 one -one as they go up against the Mavericks. The NBA postseason, coming up next. The NBA playoffs continue. Just two teams remain. They are battling their way toward this title. Game two of the finals. I'm Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony, Hall of Famer Doris Burke, and another Hall of Famer, David Aldridge, from the sidelines. Now, we'll look at Dallas's starting lineup. The star backcourt of Doncic and Irving are out there. Green is up there with Washington, and it's Gafford in at the center position. And for Boston, the wing pairing, it's White and Brown. Tatum out there with Porzingis, and it's Holiday in at the one. Take a look at the Mavericks. Well, they have seized home court. They orchestrated the upset in game one. No matter what happens tonight, Greg, they can rest on that. I mean, it was a huge shift in this series, an accomplishment you would obviously be proud of, but hey, they still got a long way to go. They get scorched in game two. All the momentum heads back the other direction. And as we've seen, home court can't always save you. It can't, but momentum sometimes can't. Here. Porzingis with a screen on Washington. Here's Tatum. The Mavericks pull it in. Boy, this guy is a good finisher, so he misses a chippy. That's tough to take. Here's Doncic. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. Let's remember Lucas 6'7, 230. So this guy lethal around the hoop. Brown outside. Just to Tatum from deep. The shot's good. Brown making the play. And they don't want to get in a habit of giving him open looks from three. First quarter still, but not who you want to leave open. Now here's Doncic. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. We are talking about a clever scorer. Luka Doncic has developed such a knack for getting to the free throw line. The free throw is good from Doncic. You can tell when he steps to the line the kind of confidence he has in himself. It's written all over his body language. Holiday, the pass to Brown. And again, Boston with the triple. You can see the work Jalen Brown has put in to become a range shooter. Nice. Doncic against Helen. Outside Irving. Doncic left side. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot too. It's on Przingis. This guy, such a tough cover. Doncic generates so much offense in so many ways. He's gone two for two at the line so far. That free throw good from Doncic. So he hits both. Luka Doncic has already established himself as a perennial candidate for MVP. He controls the game with the basketball in his hands. He is an incredible driver, and he makes the game easy for the guys around him. And slam dunk by Tatum. I tell you what, you better watch out, fellas. He is on fire here today. And so it's Irving who brings it up for the Dallas Mavericks. Sends it right off the glass. Here's Brown. And the rebound goes to the Mavericks. They're coming off a great victory on Wednesday. Yeah, they, they were able to maintain focus in a hostile environment. And that led to taking shots that made sense. Well, I'm sure they're still enjoying that one. You love going into a tough building, tough place to play, and shooting the lights out. Nothing like silencing the crowd. Right. That one rolling around and rims out. I'm sure he's kicking himself. He hates to blow that kind of opportunity. Green with the ball. Picked up by Brown. 
Here's Gafford. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. The defense making it way too easy for him on that jump shot. He'll take that all night. And so White will bring it up for Boston. Porzingis sets the pick for White. Flanked it by the D. He fights to the rim for the lane. Really well done there. Just confident and composed. Never in a hurry. Doncic against Holiday. Stolen by Holiday. And pushing it up. Here's Boston. It's rebounded by Doncic. Now you can't look at the result of that shot. They'll take that whenever they do. And they should, because it's when you start turning down that kind of look that your offense can start to bob down a bit. Now here's Green. Still scoreless. Five to shoot. Tatum against Washington. Tries again. He lays it in. And the D getting out work there on the putback. Can't let that happen. You have got to put a body on somebody. We talk about it ad nauseum, but you've got to be disciplined with the box outs. Here's Tatum following the score by Dallas. And here's Brown outside. The shot, no good. The Mavericks have gone 50% from the field, hitting 3 of 6 since the opening tip. That's his second foul of the first quarter, and they didn't want to sit him for a while to avoid number three. The Mavericks shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. And that drops, so they now lead by one. That one is no good. Austin's gone two or three from deep so far in this game. 143 left here in the opening quarter. Here's Pritchard, guarded by Doncic. The Celtics need to get a shot off. From deep three-point land, a rebound by Washington. And when you are as good a shooter as he is, you have to have the confidence to take that shot. You might not always fall. And for most guys, I think you only want to take that shot if you hit a few in a row. That is absolutely a heat check. Doncic on the mark with the 15-footer. Doncic has got eight points. Well, you see what the defense wants to give up there. Luka more than comfortable in the mid-range. And here's Brown outside. And Lively pulls it down. I think he's got to settle down. Because right now it feels like he's rushing, like he's forcing some shots. This quarter he has been completely bothered. Here's Lively. He has yet to score. Near the three-point line, it's Doncic. And another basket for Dallas. Boy, Luka Doncic makes it look easy. What a pretty jumper. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Brown outside. Nailed from three-point land. Brown's got his second bucket of the night. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. You know, we see this all the time. You're basically, as a defender, hoping the man misses rather than putting in the work to get over screens. Inside. Outside, Horford. Passes it to Pritchard. A miss that time. Would have put him up. It's been all about Luka Doncic for the Dallas Mavericks. He got into double digits for the quarter with 10 points total. Right back after this break. back with you as these two teams do battle in their quest for an NBA championship. And what do you think guys about Dallas here in this one? Well when you control the glass you control the second chance opportunities on both ends. And that's how they controlled the first quarter. I thought they were the much more physical team. On the floor right now for the Mavericks. 
We've got Irving. Jones is out there with Exum. Then there's Hardaway. And it's Lively in at the center, locking down the middle. And that'll be Dallas as it goes out of bounds. Mavericks retain possession. Celtics making a switch here. Hauser's checked in. Here's Hardaway. And that comes off the assist by Exum. That's their third straight make off an assist. Celtics trail by four. Pritchard passes to Hauser. Horford high post. Here's the pass to Cornette. Buries the long range jumper. Cornette's got himself on the board with three there. Yeah, there's six points on consecutive three balls. They're finding holes now in the deep. I believe the pass to Irving. Unloads from nine. Basket counts. Irving's got his first two points of the night. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. Here's Pritchard, covered by Irving. Pass to Horford. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Pritchard. He drains it as the shot clock ticks down. He is too good a mid-range shooter to leave him that open. And it's Irving with the ball for the Dallas Mavericks. Outside Hardaway. Back to Irving. For the three. Rebounded by Hauser. Austin trailing. Tatum deciding where to go with it. Pass to Cornette. And Exum comes to help. Here's Hauser. And again, Austin with the triple. And the D has gotten a little bit laxed here, defending the triple. Down low. And he takes the feed in stride and slams it home. That nice touch pass right there by Kyrie Irving. That was pretty. Austin's gone 5 and 9 when they put up the three point shot tonight. And here in the second quarter of action with a hair under two and a half minutes played so far. Pressured that shot by getting a hand up just as good as a block. And he did it without fouling. And that's become an art. Changing shots without making contact. Taking back the lead once more. Give these teams credit. Man, they are battle. Neither team willing to give an inch and neither able to seize the momentum. This has been a fascinating one to watch. Here's Pritchard. Off target from outside. And here's Exum. On the wing, Irving. To Exum. Shot clock at six. The kick out to Irving. Shoots the three, sinks the three-pointer. Irving's got the lead up to five now for the man. Excellent setup. The pre-shot preparation getting into that catch-and-shoot game. We see it, Kyrie. Horford with a screen on Hardaway. Tatum no good. The Mavericks have gone five of eight from the floor here in the second quarter. Over 60% shooting. Exxon passes to Irving. And here is Hardaway. Irving sets a screen for Hardaway. There's the triple. Rebounded by Hauser. The Celtics have gone 50% from the floor in the second quarter. Three of six. Passes it to Pritchard. Here's Cornett. The pass to Hauser. To halt the run. Boston again missing. Dallas leading by five. There's Exum. Nothing on the board. One thirty-three left to play in the first half. And he's good on the three ball. This guy lives out there. Irving, one of the best three-point shooters in the game. Boston's gone two for five from three-point land since the end of the first. Time out, time out. And now the first timeout called here for Boston. Well, it's been an express lane to the rim. Coach can't be happy about that. Well, poor rotations, poor communication. There's a lot to figure out right now. Come on, fans. Let's hear it for Celtics. 
Bowman. And the Celtics with possession here. Trailing here by eight. Brown outside. Outside, Horford. Four on the shot clock. A shot. Boston again missing. No matter what looks they get, they just can't convert to stop this run. And I think you can start to feel their frustration mounting. With every missed bucket, it becomes more and more desperate. Now, here is Irving. Following the shot by Drew Holland over White. Count it from 12. And it's a 10-point Maverick lead. Well, after a less than stellar start in the first quarter, you like to see that shot go down. And Holiday kicks to White. Out of bounds. Dallas takes possession. Maverick. 29 seconds left to play here in the second quarter. Pass to Gafford. Back to Irving. Takes the three. Boston grabs the miss. Now Porzingis. Still yet to score. To stop the drought. Shot is good. And the Mavericks lead is cut down now to just eight on the basket from Brown. That's the physique of Jalen Brown. This guy is strong. He can absorb contact and still finish. And so it's the Dallas Mavericks in the driver's seat. Up eight points at the end of the quarter. They're playing a bruising game inside. And it's working for them. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thank you, Kevin. Here with Coach Jason Kidd. Jason, how do you feel about your team's performance? I feel great. You know, we're sharing the ball, we're making the extra pass, but we're attacking the pain. And if we can continue to do that, it puts us in a good seat. Jason, thanks for your time. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. And we'll be right back after halftime to start the third quarter. See you in just a bit. Greetings, everybody. It's game two, and things are a little rocky right now for the Boston Celtics. They have to start penetrating in the lane. A few high percentage shots could make a difference in the paint. Right now, the focus has been on jumpers, and it's been too predictable. Looking at the series breakdown for the Mavericks, everyone is talking about their game one victory. You think they can take the first two on the road? Well, props to them for getting it done, and that first game, especially. I think they can do it again, Ernie. Well, they'll have to keep up that intensity, play sharp, and if they can, wow, headed home up to none. They'll be sitting in a great, great spot. They would indeed. And that is a wrap. Now let's send you back to Kevin Harlan for the start of the third quarter. And glad to have you with us as we get going here in game two. You have to like what you're seeing from Luka Doncic. Man, he's been running wild on him through that first half. Absolute dynamite on offense. Boy, he has been shouldering the load. Aggressive, skilled, talented, and thus far unstoppable. The wing pairing, it's white and brown. Chris Stapp for Porzingis is out there with Tatum, and it's Holiday in at the point guard position. And that's the group for Joe Missoula as we begin the second half. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball move. Tatum finds Holiday. Now oh, here's Brown. Off target with his three. Moving against White. with the ball. 12 points for him. For this three on one. Here's Irving. It's hauled in by Persingas. Listen, simply put, he's got to finish that. It's not like the defender was right on top of him. Holiday, the pass to Brown. Brown jams it in. This 
guy, one of the most elite athletes in the game, Jalen Brown, finishes beautifully. And on the AT&T 5G Slam Cam, you can see how impressive that move was. Now, here's Doncic. He's got 10. To the inside. Gafford. You know, he rips it and jams it right over Przingis. Wow! And this sort of awesome dunk is one of the reasons this team is in charge of this game. Well, there's a swagger out there. You can see it on the court that they possess and are not afraid to show it either. The passing, the shooting, the scoring, it's all clicking. Side Irvin. On the wing, Doncic. Guarded by Holiday. Gafford sets the pick for Doncic. Nice D from Porzingis. That's the kind of D you need when he's got the ball near the hoop. They were all over. It's good. Now just a five-point Maverick lead. Boy, that's three for four this half. You like that they're starting with a little bit of extra energy. Nice. Dodgers on the drive inside. This guy moves so well with the ball in his hands. And Doncic knows how to initiate contact and get himself to the line when he puts it on the deck. So far, he's hit all of his shots at the foul line, going four for four. And they haven't let points get away from them at the line tonight. That's always something that will allow a coaching staff to breathe a little easier. Now, here's Brown. 13 points in the game. The kick out to Holiday. Porzingis with a screen on Doncic. Traps in the tray. Holiday's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. And really, as the three-pointers keep dropping, you get the sense that the frustration is mounting for the defense. Some nice passing here by Dallas. Washington finds Green. Beyond the arc. The rebound by the Celtics. A bit of pride at stake. Trying to get that last three ball back, but couldn't get it to fall. Here's Brown, and Brown throws it down hard. Yeah, this offense is rolling. They've been assertive, but they're also playing under control. I think the communication on offense is working at every level right now. What a run for this group. And here are the Mavericks now, following the bucket by the Celtics. Here's Irving. Porzingis with the block. Kristaps Porzingis has proven over the course of his young career that he is willing to be a force as a shot blocker. What a play there. The hoop plus the harm. Al Horford has checked in for Boston. And Dallas also making a switch. Jones has checked in. The Celtics trail by five. Now here's Tatum. He's got seven. And it's off from three-point range. Beat him against Doncic. Pass to Washington. Up and in on the way. Washington's got five points now this quarter. Make no mistake, guys. The playmaking ability of Luka Doncic is special. Even at a young age, this guy can pick apart a defense. Now, here's Brown. He's got 15. Shot is good, and the Mavericks lead is cut to just five on the basket from Tatum. That pass had to be thrown not only in the right spot, but at the right time. There's the lob to the hoop, and Jones with the stop. Boy, the extraordinary playmaking instincts of Luka Doncic on display right there. Doncic against Howard. He kicks it to Brown. Let's it go from deep. Yes, and it's Holiday with the assist that time. Brown's got two now from beyond the arc in the third for the Celtics. 53 seconds left here in the third quarter. And there's the three-second call, this one on the defense. Now let's take a moment to get your guys' take on the scoring zone for Dallas. And guys, how about the unselfishness and all about working that ball around, shifting the defense 
and just seeking out the best shot. Uh, they've also done a heck of a job at the free throw line tonight. Good aggression has led to a number of easy chances and points at the line. Pocket six from outside the arc. Got it. Nice one there from Exum. Exum's got his first three points of the game. Really good anticipation by Dante Exum. He feels the defense laying off and he sticks it. To the left side wing. Outside Horford. Panjic with the steal. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. Let's it go from 14. Here's Hardaway. No problem on the jumper in close. Hardaway has got his second bucket. And physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. A plus 10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. To the wing right side. Here's Hauser. And it's Boston with another. Five seconds left to play in the third. Doncic fires from way outside. And as we end the third quarter, a great game. Both teams playing well. Mavericks lead by eight. And time for the short break. And stay right where you are. The fourth quarter is coming up next. Let's go back to a terrific pass that we're calling tonight our State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter for him. And when you're the beneficiary of a pass that good, you better deliver. And he did just that. And with three quarters behind us, let's see what this fourth period holds in store for us. On the floor for Dallas starting the fourth quarter here. The star backcourt of Doncic and Irving are out there. Derek Jones is out there with Washington. And it's Lively in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. That's about all-out effort from Al Horford. He refuses to be denied. And the free throw, no good. Dallas leading by six. The feed to Jones. Out of bounds, Boston takes possession. Boston Tatum. He'll bring it up for the Celtics. A three. And again, Boston with the triple. And they have been relentless from deep. And you see the defense trying to react, but to no avail. Well, that's the whole point, isn't it? If you space the floor well enough, it's almost impossible for the defense to account for everyone. Doncic knocks in the three. Luka is always on time to answer a big shot by an opponent. Here's Pritchard, guarded by Doncic. Top of the key. And with that, the Maverick lead is cut down to just four points in the bucket from Tatum. Whoa, sizzling from the field this half, and that's after a shaky start. Here is Doncic. Irving sets a screen for Doncic. A floater. Ah, Doncic very comfortable down low. There is this fundamental confidence for what Luka does, and those difficult floaters, no problem. Some changes for Boston. Tillman's checked in, and it's Drew Holiday in for Mikhailu. Right now, I'd send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldridge. Thanks, guys. Listen in to what Joe Mazzula told his team. His emphasis was for more effort on the defensive end. He said, we have to do a better job of communicating and helping each other out. They're getting too many easy looks. Let's make it hard on them. Well, they're going to have to if they're going to slow down the top shooting of their opponent. All right, thank you, David. Celtics trail by three. Passes to Tillman. Back to Holiday. Here's Tillman. Celtics passing it around. Richard. And again, Boston with the triple. Defensively, you can't back off him that much. You don't want to give up easy threes at this stage of the game. Dallas calls timeout. Daniel Gafford's checked in for the Mavericks. Green comes in for Luka Doncic. Here, 
Green left side. Taken away by Holiday. Greg, their offensive approach has been rock solid here. And they're finding the weak spots in the D and attacking it. A shot's good on the assist by Horford. Holiday's got six in the quarter. Heavy incoming from beyond the arc. A key part of their initiative this entire fourth quarter. It feels like they have worked their perimeter game to perfection. Swinging the ball, cashing in from the outside. What a performance. Can't afford these defensive breakdowns, especially down the stretch. And right now, neither side can get a stop. Looks like both coaches will have plenty of material for the film room. Now here is Horford. And that's out of bounds. It was last touched by Gafford. A different look for Dallas. Maxi Kleba, he's checked in for P.J. Washington. Hardaway comes in for Jones. And Luka Doncic subbed in for Green. And again, Boston with the triple. That's a dozen straight points coming off the triple. Mavericks trail by four. Irving passes to Gaffer. Kicks to Doncic. Gafford sets the pick for Doncic. Back to Gafford. Solid play in the low block, and that one's good. Boy, what a feel Luka Doncic brings to the game. This guy always willing to get his teammates involved. Time called here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. Quarter of play and over three and a half minutes have gone by. The kick out to Tatum. The shot's good. Brown making the play. Brown's got his third assist on the night. Well, Jason Tatum in a big moment. He is unafraid. Doncic against Holiday. Kleba with a screen on Holiday. Here's Doncic. It's good, and it's his sixth make against 11 attempts. Was there ever a doubt they'd go to Luka Doncic? This guy is a big-time performer. On the pass to White. One forty-nine left to play in the final quarter. A nice shot by Tatum. And so many teams now look to establish the perimeter to set up everything else. No doubt it's a growing trend, Greg. Here's Doncic. Kleba with a screen on Howard. Doncic. It's hauled in by Brock. All alone from mid-range. They know he won't miss many of those. To the paint. Here's Tatum. Tatum gets it inside. Jason Tatum is capable of explosive nights offensively. If you're the defense. You better lock in right now. Holiday against Doncic. left in the fourth quarter. Gets that one through the hole. Make him now 7 of 13 in this game. Yeah, Luka Doncic is one of the few guys you want handling the ball in crunch time. Tatum kicks to Porzingis. Top of the key, Holiday. Over in the corner. White. Outside Tatum. Offline with his three. And so it's Doncic with it. He brings it up for the Mavericks. Here's Doncic. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. It's on Porzingis. Yeah, way to play in attack mode and get to the line. First free throw is good, and that brings them within five. And he cannot convert on the second. That misses. Listen, it's only one miss, but it hurts all the same as they try to cut into this lead. you got to love strong defense, especially when it comes in the form of harsh rejections. Wow. Well, they didn't make it this far by giving up easy ones. And now their defense is in overdrive. And now they decide to foul intentionally. First, personal foul. Third team foul. At the line. Jason Tatum. At the 
It's the first, and that increases their lead to six. From the moment Jason Tatum stepped into this league, he has been a guy who has wanted the burden offensively, and he has delivered. Well, we know this. Free throw shooting is such a mental aspect of the game. This guy keeps his composure and comes through. Dallas calls timeout. They're trailing by seven. 34 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Hard away, takes a three. Good! And now they trail by just four. Well, there's a reason they trust this guy in big moments. Tim Hardaway Jr., no problem, he says. And he commits the intentional foul. He hits the first one, and that puts them up by five. And he is unable to get the second one. And looking for a very quick shot here. You've got to run a play that's a quick strike. You've got to immediately foul after that. Now, here's Kleba. Irving passes to Kleba. Gafford with the ball. Puts up a deep three. Wow, came this close to a four-point play. He led to the line for three free throws. Yeah, he, there was definitely some contact there on the three-point attempt. So the first of three is good, and that shrinks the margin to just four. And a tough miss as the second of three shots at the line missing. One to go. And he nails the third. Time call here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. They lead by three. Seven seconds left to play here in the fourth. foul intentionally that's what they have to do at this point no choice but to foul there but but he's probably the last guy you want to see on the line he drops the first one and that gives them a four-point cushion and holiday doesn't get easily rattled he has a calm personality that helps him in big moments well what a performer this guy is game is on the line he stands up and delivers dallas calls timeout they're trailing by five Six seconds left in the fourth. Guys, your thoughts? And a little late to implement a plan B. This game is a wrap. Well, I think he might just want to remind these guys, hey, let's finish the game the right way. Here's Gafford. Tries a three off the inbound. That one doesn't go. So we see Boston get the win here. Just a massive victory, Greg. Maybe it's overstating it, but I think this was a game they had to have. And I don't think it's overstating it. I agree with you. I mean, going down 2-0 would have given this team a huge hill to climb. But now at one game apiece and with some momentum, this is anybody's series. And now let's go over to David Aldridge from the sideline for an interview with our player of the game. Hey, David. Thanks very much, Jason. It was a struggle last time out, but tonight you were back on track. What was the difference? Uh, you got to have a short-term memory. Uh, sometimes shots just go in, but you always got to be aggressive and just make the right play. You like a cornerback in basketball. That's weird, but it got you a win tonight, man. Congrats. Back to you. Thank you, David. That concludes Game 2 of the NBA Finals. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. As we present our New Balance Player of the Game, Jason Tatum.